Hi guys, this is the Idaho Picker with your logical news update. And uh, today I'm just going to show you a number of bankers uh, around the world that are being arrested. And I uh, find it uh, very interesting. I've shown these before. What you're going to see today is just what I could find in the last seven days. Okay? First one is out of France. Uh, it was arrested in France, but he was a uh, Kazakhstan a fugitive banker. Um, and uh, an arrest warrant was put out for him and uh, he was arrested in France. He was on the run. And here trick people into uh, investing in uh, construction projects that uh, never existed. Here is a senior UK banker arrested on suspicion of tax fraud. Of course it reeled in, right? Here's an article where a banker didn't get uh, arrested, but he got murdered. Um, it uh, says uh, he was gunned down in a car park as he was leaving a Chinese temple in, in uh, some place in the Middle East, I guess, on July 29th. And uh, was gunned down. Uh, supposedly he was a uh, big banking giant uh, with an investment company. And uh, I guess he ripped the wrong person off, right? And here we have a report uh, says uh, Russia asked for France to extradite oligarch uh, banker. Uh, supposedly he uh, embezzled millions of dollars uh, from the BTA bank and uh, they are looking, they put out an arrest warrant and are looking to uh, take him into custody. Here's another one out of uh, my home state, South Carolina. It says former Charleston banker uh, Latham taken into custody. It says federal investigators arrested former Charleston banker Chris Latham on Tuesday evening in connection with a sealed indictment where while he was on uh, vacationing in the upstate, probably in Myrtle Beach, uh, where I'm from. Interesting. Another banker down. Here's another crooked banker going to jail. New York banker arrested on rape charges in East Hampton. This guy was with Goldman Sachs. You know, guys, we'll see over the next coming weeks um, a lot of other of these big bankers finding themselves in hot water, you might say, and finding themselves behind steel bars. Take my word on it. It's going to continue to happen. Here's HMRC arrest top banker over tax evasion. It says a top London banker was yesterday arrested by HM Revenue and Customs on suspicion of tax fraud. The 63-year-old man was arrested at a London address following concerns about his personal tax returns. Yeah, they don't like it when you rob them. Bunch of robbers, thieves, robbing thieves. Here's a recent uh, video on YouTube talking about uh, bankers arrested in I Iceland, Ireland, the UK, USA, Switzerland, India, and the list goes on. They go through quite a bit of uh, arrests. You might want to take a look at this video as a backup to the one I'm doing here. Um, I'll put a link below for you so you can check it out. And uh, I think I'm going to subscribe to this channel. So as you can see, for whatever motivations, whatever reasonings, whatever the charges are, there are bankers being taken down. And there's a lot of bankers that are being taken down or threatened prison time um, that y'all guys are unaware of. I'll be trying to bring more of that information to you here as as the uh, days go on here uh, so, so you can see a bigger picture of kind of what's going on but uh, there's a lot of outside pressure and inside pressure even coming out of the Pentagon believe it or not that uh, trying to pressure these organizations to uh, get clean which pretty much means we gotta throw them all in jail and the process for that um, I believe has started and uh, we should see uh, this developing more and more in the coming weeks. Let's just hope that they don't get desperate and do something stupid. And uh, if they do, let's uh, regain ourselves, bust them, and throw them in prison, all of them. All the politician crooks and, and uh, all the big bankers need to all be in jail. 
Guys, I'll talk to you again real soon here on Logic Before Authority with another logical news update very soon.